hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me today we have another topic today and today i'm going to be talking about division of labor in germany so if you're new guys please hit the subscribe button if you've been here before please like comment and share this topic is really going to be interesting for some of you because the men in my country don't do nothing and even if you were to suggest that they do something, they actually don't want to do anything. They believe like for a long time, uh, in the olden times, that men didn't do anything. All they could do was just go to work, come back home, drink beer. You know, they would go to these drink beer gardens and just have fun while the, the women were doing all the chores, all the duties in the house. So this is the reason why I want us to talk about division of labor, how it's different here in Germany than it was in my home. Okay, so growing up in Bilawayo in Entumbane, men didn't do nothing. I actually, a few men I would say, I would see maybe doing gardening, but if it was sweeping the yard, sweeping outside, you would never see a man. If it is cooking or for the kids or just cooking food, you will never see a man. If it was washing clothes, taking care of the children, bathing the children, or cook, just everything, the household uh, duties that were, are supposed to be shared among people that live in this house, you would not see a man do this. So, when I came here to Germany, this is when I was hit by a total shock because here in Deutschland, people share duties. A man will clean, will cook, will do the laundry, will take care of the kids. We've seen so many men walking down the street, pulling a stroller, you know, or even just uh, with the children wrapped around their bodies, going shopping. It's, it's a scene. It is a nice thing to see because then you can understand that both couples, both, uh, both parents, are taking full full advantage of taking care of the children they are in it for a real good reason but in my country if you are a man and you're seen carrying a stroller pushing a stroller around for your child they think oh you are actually sorry you know that you have been uh, <laughs> you have been uh given some juju to eat so that you do whatever the woman wants you to do of which it's not the same it's unfair okay so i want to talk about how this how it all came about you know in the olden developed days it says in my history i did a little bit of cooking that it states that the men used to go hunting and they will stay for quite a long time in the bush hunting for animals and this used to take a lot of time before they came back home from the hunting uh side so this was the reason why women would have to do everything in the house because the men were not there it's either the men were went hunting or they went to war so the women were left alone in the houses to do all the duties to clean to cook to take out the children to even go to the farms women used to farm a lot in in, in matabele lands because the men would not be there to do these duties so and then when, when the colonialism time came in my country, it was also not so different because the men just started going to work in the mines and they would leave their cities, maybe going to another city to work in the mine or in the industries. And they used also to move a lot from city to city. Some of the men were, were contracted to come and build new cities and all those things. And this left also a lot of women staying at home and not being able to do any work. So in the 90s, it just, the, 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 the trends started happening. It started changing. The women started going to work. The women started wanting to do jobs and not being at home and taking care of the children. So it, it, in the 2000s, a lot of women left their homes, traveling to South Africa, to Botswana, to work. And this meant that they would have a maid, aunties, or someone else to take care of the children and the fathers also would be also going to work so it didn't leave much space or much room for someone to say oh I don't do laundry or I will not cook because you would be living with kids and then you come home from work the children are hungry and saying Papa 
we are hungry and you would have to do the job so this is the, the way the transition happened but what does this mean now are the men in my country open to this transition no they are not open it is not a law it is in is actually it is not a law in any marital way that a man has to do this job hence the men are actually so ignorant they don't want to do this because it's not a law so they know that this law will not be enforced anyhow so they are so stubborn they won't do this and so the the nice part here in germany is um i'm not sure if it's really a a, a law but it seems like it is it falls under the division of labor laws that we all have to do something because the woman's going to work you're going to work the children need to be picked up and if the man has time in between the day to pick up the children why not why should it always be the woman who has to do this so this is how it is here in germany the men will cook the men will wash clothes the men will go shopping for groceries they will pick up the children they will take them to the play day to the park they will do a lot of things and if the woman is pregnant and they have a baby usually there is what you call mutter shoots in germany where um the mother takes time off from work uh, to 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 sit at home and nest the baby the pregnancy until she gives birth and also men are allowed to take uh, a, a, a maternity leave sort of here in germany because they know the law knows that you can't raise a child on your own you can but you, if you are married, if you are together with someone, you're living in the same house, then you need help because then it means you have a full-time job at home, taking care of the newborn baby, taking care of the household items and doing everything. This is the reason why also fathers are given time off if they want, if they want to, because situations and families differ. If they want and they're open to it, they take time off from work. So men, yes, there is division of labor. Men do have maternity leave just like women do. And they can also reduce hours from work if they were working the whole day long. And when the child comes, they're allowed to reduce their hours so that they can go home and help the, the wife and to take care of the child and all those things. And share also household uh, duties if there is washing needed to be done or if there is shopping needed to be done they are allowed to do these things and you will not find people laughing at them saying ah we are you saw you say it is okay some men actually are even stay at home dads they actually agree with their partner if maybe the partner is working a so, uh, for example, if it, the job is a well traveling job and she has to be traveling every time from this place to this place, they can agree. And the man says, Okay, fine, if you're making enough money for me to sit at home and be a stay at home dad, why not? They agree, and the woman can actually go to work. And the man, and the man it's you, if you we've seen this a lot, they actually stay at home dad. In my country, this would be a laughing thing, a laughing matter. This is a taboo. And all those things. Yes, they laugh at such cases. But I find this is uh, this regarding the rights of a woman because who says the woman has to do everything? Where, in which laws say that the woman is the maid, she has to do everything for you, the man, as you are sitting down? I find it's really. Uh, irresponsible for the man if you are a man and you all you do is come home and sit and expect food on the table for you to eat and you are doing nothing so this is the way the man is some please forgive me man <laughs> in my country some men in my country are like this actually it's a it's a bigger number if we were to take the statistics you would realize that maybe probably 70% of the men in my country are still behaving in this manner. They are not open to the changes that have happened. Only a, only a slight number or maybe 30% of the men are open-minded, especially nowadays looking at the cases that we are both working. So I can't be there to do everything for you while you sit. We are both working. 
So I will come to work tired too. And if you come to work and you're earlier than me, why not prepare the food or something like this? Why not, if you have a little bit time more than I, why not do something? Yes, but they are not open to this. I guess the younger generation nowadays is much more open, but the older generation are stuck in the old ways, in the way that we used to do things in the 90s, you know, in this time of the colonialism, in this time of the the old ways that were there, they still believe that a man has to just sit. I remember, the, I would see, I used, I would see men sitting, and the woman doing a lot of things. She has to run around. She wants to go to the market. She wants to. She has babies. She has to carry the ba baby on her back and carry a sack of, of shopping on her head. Come back home, do the gardening. While the man sat, he would just sit and be reading a newspaper, pretending he's all, all learned and all this. Yeah, so guys, this was my topic for today. If you have any, any, any comments, please comment down below and please do subscribe, like, comment and share. If you enjoyed this topic and you like that we discuss more about this, please send me messages and I'll check them out. So guys, I hope you have a great weekend and stay safe, bleib gesund, tschüss.